Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This is a super sort of spontaneous video. Um, as you know, I have a 2006 um, original uh, Mac Pro that is now 8 years old, uh, roundabout, which is just insane, considering how, how powerful it still is. And, as you can see there, I am at least attempting to install Yosemite. Now, it says less than a minute remaining, it's going to be pretty much done. I'm just, Because I do have Mavericks on this, um, I'm using a very similar sort of method. Um, I'm assuming it will say install failed. Um, I'm not 100% sure though, um, because, well, yeah. But the system requirements for Yosemite are basically the same as Mavericks, so everything is pretty much on the same. Oh, restart to complete the installation, okie dokie. Um, I'm going to pause the video now, guys, and I'm going to get back to you when something has happened. Okay, so uh, basically what happened, it couldn't find the, the drive. I was told that that is pretty much what's going to happen. Um, it rebooted, couldn't find the drive, and decided to try and boot into Windows instead. So what I did, I reset the NVRAM, and basically now what I'm going to do is reinstall Chameleon onto the boot drive. Chameleon, I will make a video on the in on the future, in the future, sort of explaining step by step on how to install um, Mavericks or Yosemite or whatever it is um, on an unsupported Mac Pro. I, I've i been waiting to do this, that kind of a video for, for quite a while now. But yeah, I'm just sort of going by trial and error here. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be, able to, I'll, I'll be able to get it up and running. But basically what I'm going to do is reinstall Chameleon uh, onto the boot drive again. Um, Basically what happens is this is essentially a Hackintosh. When you've got Mavericks or Mountain Lion or Yosemite installed on this, it's basically a Hackintosh. You've got, you have to install a bootloader, you have to install, you have to have three partitions basically. One for the boot, which is going to be there forever pretty much. Um, the boot drive is what houses the bootloader. So it boots up into the bootloader, which then allows you, the computer access in order to get into the install. You have the installer which obviously is for installing and then the main partition which is where the install is going to go. I've got it on a different hard drive because I don't want to mess up my Ma Mavericks install because I've got literally my life on here so this is just a bit of an experiment and I just decided to do this spontaneous video just for the hell of it. The production value won't be too great but um I hope you enjoy it anyway. So yeah. Open up terminal now, and basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the boot drive to um, to 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 the default boot drive. Basically, um, you can't do this in the sort of most orthodox of methods. You have to do it through terminal. Again, this is not an instructional uh, instructional video. I just want to see if it works. If if it doesn't work then you won't be seeing this video. If it does work then um, you're in luck and so am I to be honest. So volumes, boots and then boots that is the file inside of the boot drive. I know this is probably making no sense to you whatsoever but there we go. I'm just sort of trying to put a name to it. Um, set boots legacy should Ask me for my password. Yep. Okay then. So now what we're going to do is we are going to restart the Mac and see what happens. And here we go. Okay. I'm just going to boot it into Verbo so I can see if anything goes wrong. But here we go. This is the moment of truth, guys. Yosemite. Boot in on a 2006 Mac Pro. I hope this works so much. Because this means I get another year of supported, well basically a completely up to date supported Mac then. This is looking good. I hope I don't jinx it though. I do apologise as well, I, I promised a new format and all that sort of stuff in the last video, but this is very, very spontaneous. Um, I'm just really nervous, because if this works then we got a starting point and 
well, yeah, as I said, I get Yosemite, and I, I was blown away at it by w, uh, WWDC. I really was not expecting to like it when I uh, sort of was was expecting to to see what it was actually like, but when they shown it in the dark mode, I know the dark mode isn't in the developer preview at the moment, not fully anyway, but it just looks amazing. <laughs> I really like it. It's, it looks like what how iOS eight, uh, iOS seven should have, should have been done basically. Getting a couple of errors, but you always get a couple of errors in these things. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good news, guys. Please, 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 please work. We have lift off. Yosemite on a 2006 unsupported Mac Pro. I'm gonna set, but I'll give all of this sort of info. Airport works. Awesome stuff. Continue. The fonts are just gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on. Don't transfer any of my information now. I won't sign in. Skip. Agree. Put in my information here. I cannot get enough of these fonts, guys. They are just gorgeous. Oh, I don't need a. Okie dokie. Continue creating an account. I am so excited, guys. Setting up your Mac. Oh my god. <laughs> it worked. OS X Yosemite. Oh man, this is so, so, so cool. Wow. Oh man, look at that transparency. About this Mac. If I zoom in here now, I'll take you off the tripod actually. Give you a better look. This is a DSLR, so uh, focus is always a little bit of an issue. If I can get it off the bloody tripod. Oh, I can see my serial number, who gives a shit? <laughs> OS 10, Mac Pro, OS 10 10.10 guys, this is, oh wow. Got the awesome looking transparency effects here, the new fonts, new notification center, oh wow, this is so cool. The new dock, the new finder, Look at that transparency. <laughs> it just looks so, so nice. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Chuffed a bit, guys. So, yeah, I'm chuffed a bit, guys. This is a completely random, spontaneous video. The quality won't be the best, but I hope you enjoyed it. I've installed Yosemite on a 2006 1.1 Mac Pro. And I will have an instructional video up. Um, sometime in the future, probably after after it's officially released, because developer previews aren't always the most reliable. But guys, Yosemite on the Mac Pro, that is just so cool. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye bye.